Hi Aries, this video is for you if you're in love with or have a crush on someone and would like to know how they feel about you. I'll do two spreads. In the first spread, we'll try to see if they feel the same way about you. Then, if the feelings are mutual, in the second spread, we'll look at the potential between you and this person. Or, if their heart is with someone else, in the second spread, we'll see who's coming towards you in the near future. Please like, subscribe and donate to support this channel. Alright Aries, let's see what uh, the person you're in love with or have a crush on thinks about you. We have the Nine of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Swords, we have the Moon clarified by the King of Cups and the Ace of Cups, and we also have the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Water Sign, Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces, Pisces in particular, but you could be dealing with pretty much any sign, this is a general reading. Well, this is a very uh, interesting uh, spread. Areas, and I'm gonna say a few things you may not like, uh, but I'm not here to judge. This is coming from this person. This is how they see you. <laughs> All right. So some of them think you are a little bit snobby. Some of them think you are you've got really high standards, right? And again, I'm not judging you. This is how they are looking at you. This is how uh, they see you. Others of you, others of them think uh, you're basically out of their league, right? Uh, remember that song? Well, some of you may remember that song from, say, 20 years ago, I think. And they went something like this. You're so high, high above me. Right? You can look it up. <laughs> so some of them could be thinking that uh, they're, you are simply out of their league. They really want you. They, really, they have a, a lot of feelings for you. They're actually in love with you. They're crushing. They have a crush on you. But uh, perhaps some of them... Perhaps they've already tried to get through to you and uh, you turned them down or they have a fear of rejection or uh, if they think that they reach out to you, uh, you'll just look at them, look, you'll look down at them and say, hey, no, you're definitely below my standards and there's nothing wrong with having high standards, right? Uh, but this person is sort of desperate. <laughs> Right, so let's talk about that. The first card I came on is the Nine of Pentacles. That's you, Aries. That is definitely you. This is a card of a single person, but in this part, this is most likely a card of somebody who is self-sufficient, independent, somebody who is glowing up, somebody who is doing really good at work. You could be very popular. You could be an eye candy. You could be admired by many. And you're just doing great, right? So this person has a lot of um, admiration for you, and uh, this person is in love with you. And... Um, the next card I came out is the Nine of Swords. Actually, I believe the rest of the spread is all their feelings, right? The Nine of Swords, the next card over, this is them. They're crying at night. They don't know how to approach you. Perhaps some of them, like I said, already tried, uh, but you turned them down. Uh, they look at you. They see you as a fortress that they can't <laughs> conquer, right? So... This person is desperate. They've got uh, anxieties. They are a little bit depressed with the Nine of Swords. The next card over is the Moon. The Moon is the personal Pisces card. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Uh, the Moon is clarified by the King of Cups. So the King of Cups could be a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or you've guessed it, Pisces. right? But the King of Cups could be any sign. The King of Cups uh, could come through as a love interest. And uh, if the Moon is not a Pisces, then the Moon is kind of similar to, nine, to the Nine of Swords energy. This is them hauling at the Moon. Uh, the Moon is one of the most emotional cards in the deck, right? So they're all up in their head about you. All of that is because this King of Cups is clarified by the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is love. They do want to offer you love, or they've already offered you love, and they want to try again. The Ace of Cups is a very genuine, authentic um, love offer that this person wants to make you, right? Uh, the Wheel of Fortune on the bottom of the deck, this is also their energy. They really do want to start a cycle with you. They do want to move forward with you. But like I said, for whatever reason, um, they can't because uh, of, uh, you know, the way you act towards them. And again, uh, there's nothing wrong with the way you act towards them, with the way you... Um, you know, hold yourself to a high standard, that's totally fine, but uh, if you are inquiring about this person, perhaps you have feelings for them as well, <laughs> right Aries? Um, so let's take a look at spread number two. Spread number two is the potential between you and this person. 
Here is, here's the potential spread between you and uh, the person we saw revealed to us in the previous spread. We have the world, we have the king of cups clarified by the magician, we have the ten of cups, and we also have the knight of cups on the bottom of the deck. So this king of cups is back, right, then there is other, there's two more cup cards on the table, one of them is uh, the knight of cups on the bottom of the deck, so this knight of cups is kind of similar to the ace of cups energy we saw in the first spread. The Knight of Cups is also all about genuine authentic love. There is definitely a potential between you and this person. Lots and lots of emotion, lots of and lots of love. Right? Uh, the King of Cups right there in the middle of the second card from the left is clarified by the Magician. So this is them again manifesting you into their life. They really want to get the show on the road with you. They really are in love with you. Um, the Magician is actually an action card, so I, if, hopefully if they take action towards you, then uh, it will, they, they think that it may work out, right? Uh, the World, the first card I came out, this is my Happy End card. So, this is one chapter of your life could be ending, and the new Happy chapter together with this person could be beginning. That is if you want it, Aries, that is if you allow this person into your life. And the last card I came out is the Ten of Cups, the card right next to the deck. The Ten of Cups is um, also the Happily Ever After card. Uh, this is a family card. This, is, this card is actually one of the best cards when it comes to emotionally fulfilling relationships or marriages. If having children is still an option for you, the two of you could definitely have children together because we got a couple of adults and also a couple of kids jumping around in that Ten of Cups. So yeah, Aries, if you want this person, um, they're there for you. They're going to be there for you for years and decades to come because this person is really into you. They love you. They want to have a family with you. They want to commit to you. So <laughs> um, if you want this person, just uh, sort of let them know, I guess. Um, answer their text if, you, if they've been texting you or if they do text you, um, just give them a hint that yes, you're open for a relationship or a commitment to, with them. If um, this person does not resonate with you, then that's totally fine because, um, you know, it's your life. Perhaps you know some other people or you think uh, somebody else will make you happier. You know, you can't force anybody to love another person. So if that's the case, that I, totally, I totally get it, Aries. But again, if you want this person, they're there for you. All right? So that's what I got for you, um, Aries. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Don't forget to check out my other videos on this channel. And other than that, Aries, have an amazing September. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you. And if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.